with to preach. Because later on, they start preaching everything I was going to preach. Yeah. Master builder. Yeah. I got me to that. <laughs> I was going to read that. <laughs> Getting your life straight. God, I, mean, I was going to read that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, Lord, okay, let me give him a strong. What you want me to read? And God took me to Jeremiah, the 18th chapter. So you all can change. We're talking about women under construction. There's a lot of different constructions. You can construct a building. You can construct a garden. You can construct a lot of things. To break down construction means with structure. Yes, that's right. Amen. Putting it together with structure. Amen. So anything that's out of structure, you put it together. Amen. It's construction. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Construction. Amen. We think about a building, but I have an uncle who is awesome with gardens. He has a garden on every side of his house. And it takes time and it takes know-how. It takes an anointing to construct a garden that will grow good food. Amen. Good food, because I done tried it. It didn't work for me. <laughs> you can't just go out there and put a hole and put a seed in there and think it's going to grow. You got to have some talent. You got to have some know-how to know exactly how to construct a garden. So we're talking about under construction, and one of the greatest stories or lessons we can learn is from the potter. Amen. In the potter's house. Amen. Let's go to Jeremiah, the 18th Woo! chapter. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Starting at verse 1. In the King James Version, it says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house. There I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred, she talks about that, in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, and seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I do, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Amen. 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 And God, and a blessing to the reading and hearing of His word. Amen. But from the way y'all holler, I thank y'all, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Go to the potter's house. And look at what that potter is doing. Everybody knows if you don't know for the kids, because they don't do stuff like that no more. You got the clay, and you have people who take water and clay, which is like mud. And you wet it, and you turn it on its wheel, and you mold it, and you make it, and you fashion it into what you want to fashion it to. Something like this, that vase, Amen. made out of clay. Amen. Then it's burned, made to be hard. Let me get a lesson here. Amen. <laughs> get a lesson. Amen. Amen. So he told Jeremiah to go down to the potter's house. And I want you to take note of what the potter is doing. He said he had a vessel. For the kids say, let's say it's a vase, a vase. <laughs> and it was broken, it was marred, it had issues. It could have been cracked, he said it was marred. <laughs> could have been cracked, could have been shipped. <laughs> Whatever, it had uh, malfunction about it. So what he did, he made it over. And I used to sing a song called The Broken Vessel, and one of my favorite songs. And it says, the potter saw a vessel that was broken by the wind and the rain. And he saw it with so much compassion to make it over again. So oh, I was that vessel that no one thought was good. But I cried, Lord, you're the potter. And I am the clay. Make me over again today. Today. My question for you now is, Who's building you? She read the scripture in Ephesians 1 and 6. It said the Lord is going to continue to work. But right now, who's building you? God's going to complete it if he started it. But at some point in time, some of us got to the point where we said, I can build myself. I can build myself. We get people in here that say, okay, I'm a builder. God, I got you. Thank you. You pick me up out the dirt. I ain't hooking no more. <laughs> I ain't shacking no more. Come on, come on. But I need a man, so let me put this in my building. 
I think this bill is even man. <laughs> so we're going to tax this man on us. And God said, that ain't the one. That ain't going to make your building sturdy. That man you think going to pay your bills ain't. <laughs> pay my water, my lights, get my nails done. You got a man for a foundation everywhere. Instead of letting God be God. Amen. Trying to build yourself. Who is building you? Women under construction. It's good to know that God's going to complete the building, but when you going to let him build? God wants to know. He said, I started the thing, but some point in time, you took over. <laughs> You ain't got no license. You ain't been to school. <laughs> you don't know what it takes to build no building. Amen. So I'm the maker. I'm the master builder. Yes. Amen. I'm the one who started the project. So can I finish? Amen. Or are you going to finish? Amen. Who's building you? Amen. Who's building you? Amen. I say if you're building yourself, you better stop. Amen. Just think of that, that pottery on that potter's wheel. So I say, hold up, wait a minute, potter. Wait a minute, hold up. I want a little hook here, and I want a little spout here, and it's trying to make the spout and make the hook become our real jacked up. Amen. That's how a lot of us are. We don't have the equipment. We don't have to know how to put a spout here, and a, a, a hook here, and a cup holder here, and then we're telling God how to fix us. God, if I just do this, even with the hair, y'all, I say a hair now. I'm only wearing this hair to display it. <laughs> to have his hair. <laughs> but we think we gotta have hair. We gotta have nails. We gotta have pantyhose looking the right way. <laughs> Can't preach without it. Can't preach looking a certain way. Praise God. There's a lot of churches I can't go into because I'm a woman. So it's a lot of things with issues. A lot of things going on. So what we need to do is let God build a building. And when God builds a building, it don't matter what everybody else says. Not even you. <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter, not even you. You say, God, I think I want a porch. Some people say, I want a big back seat. <laughs> I done seen people getting injections in the back, walking around looking real retarded. <laughs> Got a bit too much back there. Some of them want a little more in the front. About to fall over. They put a little bit too much in but they trying to build a building. Amen. Then they forget the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you a story my mother shared with me. That was this rich man who hired this guy to build a house. But the guy decided, oh, I'm going to keep the money and I'm going to put whatever material I want in it. So he got the, the cheapest wood, the cheapest sheet rock, he got the cheapest brick. It was beautiful on the outside, but it was made of all cheap stuff. And you know what the man did? He said, you know what? He said, I like you so much, I would give you to build that house for you. Yeah. You can have it. Can you imagine how sick that man was? Yeah. If only he knew. He'd have been putting the best brick in there. The best mortar. The best everything. But because he was trying to do it himself, and trying to get over and take shortcuts like we do, he messed himself up. Could have had a beautiful building. Amen. You can be a beautiful, perfectly built construction. Whether you want to be a garden, a piece of vessel, or clay, or building, let God build the building. Amen. Question tonight is who's building you? Who's building you? I mean, seriously. When I hear a word, I have to check me. Yeah, yeah, amen. Who is building me? Amen. When I get ready to holler and scream and act a fool, am I listening to God say, wait a minute, hold up, let me let me show you how to handle that situation. Or do I say, I'm going to handle this. I'm building my own building. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm setting my own trap. Because when I do that, it's going to fall back on me. But if I listen to the master building say, don't add that to your building. Matter of fact, you got a little of that from when you first started, so let's get rid of that. Amen. I want a perfect building. Amen. I want a building that I can present to my father and say, look, oh. well done. Amen. Well done. Amen. How many of us want to go get to heaven, get to the gate and be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Something is not right. 
That brick is out of line. Come on now. That mortar ain't right. It wasn't mixed right. It's kind of cracking. How many of us can decide tonight that we're going to let God build again? We're going to let God do the construction because he knows where we're to structure us. We have an idea of what we want. I want a big, beautiful house in Tango Wild. But I don't want the taxes. <laughs> it costs to be the boss. <laughs> yeah, I want a big 3.5 million dollar house with a pool in the back, sauna and all that. But you got to count the cost as you build the building. Today, God is saying, count up the cost with who's building your building. Yeah, you may get it looking a certain way right now. But what about the maintenance? Is what you put in there going to fail and in the next couple of weeks or so you're going to have to redo it anyway? The master builder has a master plan. And we need to let the master builder do the good. Who's building you? Who's building you? We need to really check ourselves. Decide when we make decisions on how I'm going to act and what am I going to do. And, and all these decisions we're making, we're building a building. And however we build it, that's what people are going to see. Amen. And people can say they are some real hard inspectors. You're supposed to be a pastor. Look how you act. <laughs> you're supposed to be a Christian. Look what you're doing. Amen. Boy, you got some inspectors that are brought out mark you off real quick. Amen. But the master builder has a project now. The project manager is the Holy Ghost. And the instructions on how he wants to build and build. Yeah. So he said, okay, Jesus said, I'm going back and I'm going to leave this project manager. Amen. Amen. The project manager knows your design and he knows the deadline. Mm. And the project manager has a question. Now I say, how long are you going to be under construction? Mm. Amen. 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 The devil was busy. I was trying to print up all this stuff. My print wouldn't work. <laughs> they say, I'm under construction. Amen. Girl, why are you still going out clubbing and doing the things you do? Because I'm under construction, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long are you going to be under construction? <laughs> the project manager got a deadline to finish this building. Oh, come on, man. Stop putting up your sign saying, under construction. <laughs> under construction is just an excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you still doing what you do? Because I'm under construction. <laughs> The devil is a lie. Amen. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing the same thing you were doing when you first got saved. Amen. You shouldn't, shouldn't still be looking the same way you look when you first got saved. Amen. But when is the deadline for the building to be up and ready? Oh. <laughs> Woo, that's good. When are you not going to be under construction? <laughs> I cuss that girl out. No, I Why you do that, sister? Cuss out. Under construction. <laughs> Come on, you're going to use that excuse. I'm um, under construction. God's still working on me. You're 80 years old and God's still working on you. God say, how long are you going to be? Under construction. The devil is a lie. Put your sign down and say, God, show me your glory. Less of me and more of you is what I need. I need your glory. I need your power. I know I'm not right. And I know after all these years, I ought to be the built a little better building than what's been going on right now. My building, right? they used to sing a song, they there's a leak in this old building that my soul has got to move. Soul has got to move. Where your soul going to? One or two places Amen. to be acting with the, in the body to be present with the Lord if you say. Amen. Amen. But if you're not, Come on now. so we need to get the building right. Amen. Some of us should be in a position where the building is up and we just doing maintenance. Amen. You should still be building the building. If I was the master building, I'd have told you I wanted this building built on June 10th. 
Stop being under construction.